Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Lenny. Welcome back to the channel. We got some crazy updates going on right now. I am excited to announce that in one more day, you guys will probably see this the day that I leave actually. Uh, I will be boarding a plane and going to Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo Auto Salon is coming out here. I think it's the 13th and the 14th or something like that. Maybe the 12th or the 14th. We have a Tokyo Underground meet that we're going to try to hit and uh, do some media for, so that'd be sweet. And uh, we gotta take a little bit of time and put our project on pause. So right now I have a couple things I have to do. I have to do a crazy wheel swap. I have to take all of these wheels and put them on that car and all those wheels and put them on that car and take all those wheels and give them to Raphael. So let's get right on into it. Um, Hopefully we can get this done ASAP. I am so glad I have the impacts and the 21 mil that makes life easy these ones are already loose a little bit or at least the one that i yep this one's already loose but i will use this to pull them the rest of the way out and get all of those off the curb i accidentally grabbed the 24 off of the shelf there we go that sounds a lot better Alrighty, so I have the first set of Enkis. Well, I guess they're both the sets of Enkis. I got the RPF uh, ones off of this side, and now I just have to do the other side. But actually, I think the black and gold looks really good on this car. It complements it really nicely. The silver does too. The contrast is nice. But, I mean, both look fairly decent. I actually would be really interested to see what those gold ones do, or the bronze gold. I don't know exactly what they are. They look more bronze. They're like a little bit darker, but... I'm seeing if that looks good on that car. That'd be sick, but unfortunately we're just gonna put on the RPF ones. Silver on silver on silver. All right, so the whole set is actually on the Evo now. It looks really good. I actually really like this color on here, seeing it all done. Here are the four N keys. I'm about to go grab that from across the street and bring it over here. And then we can repeat the process one more time. Yeah, it's kind of tedious and time consuming, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, all right. That's how the Enkis look on the car. I don't know that they don't look the best, but their tires aren't that great, and this car is probably going to be gone tomorrow. So, I mean, yeah, this definitely fits that car. These might look better on that car. Alrighty, so I go to Japan tomorrow. The crazy updates for you guys. So I get invited by Nikki Jacobs to go to Japan for Tokyo Auto Salon. Which is insane. Um, <laughs> it was kind of just all a blur. I called into work. I saw what was up. And they said, yeah, you're good to go. And I really wasn't expecting that. So I bought my ticket. And now I'm going to Japan. Words do not even begin to describe how I'm feeling right now. Like, there's no words that I could put together that, you know, 2024 is going to be insane already. I can already tell. We're doing all the car stuff in Japan. We're going to try to do Tokyo Auto Salon. We're going to try to go to an underground Tokyo car meet. Um, that costs a little bit if you want to do media because, you know, they have a big thing about respecting all of the culture, the spot, the meets, all of that. So we're going to do that. I think we're going to go hit the Daikoku that's the bridge overpass parking spot area that is very famous. So we're going to try to do that as well. We have nine days and five of them will be in Tokyo. Then we go to Osaka for two days. Then we go back to Tokyo for another two days and then we fly out. So it's going to be jam packed. I'm going to be taking you guys on this adventure with me. You're going to experience a little bit of Tokyo. This is my first time ever going. It's going to be insane. I already know it. Like this is what I said in the group chat. I was like, yo, guys, <laughs> I haven't even been there once and I'm already ready to go again. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much in Tokyo that I've seen that I'm like, oh, my gosh, I need to go. Right. And this opportunity fell into my lap. So I'm just going to send it. Ah! <laughs> so right now I'm packing all my stuff. You can see I have all of my cables, all of my SD cards, um, some extra chargers and stuff. We've got the insta360 that we're going to take around with us we've got our microphones all that good stuff us passport of course we need that to get in to the country and then i'm packing the bag right now my laundry is just finishing up downstairs um yeah and then i'm going to be editing this video to go out for you guys and then that's yeah we leave in the morning so day one for the tokyo trip starts in less than probably 14 hours and that is yeah i'm still wrapping my head around it i don't think i'll actually like 
really process the thing until I'm on the flight. And I think even then, when I hit my layover in Hawaii, I'm going to be like, I'm in Hawaii. And then I get on another plane for another 10 hours. It's going to be a long day of travel. It's going to be about 17 hours of travel uh, because I did the one stop. All the non-stop tickets right now, $2,700. The ticket that I bought uh, with a one stop was only 998 Yes, it adds like six hours of travel to my day. But I think that's fine. We're going to arrive in Tokyo around 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. And uh, we're solo. This is like my first solo international trip. Actually, it's pretty much my first solo flight. I've been on solo flights, but they've been domestic and super like short, like an hour or two, you know. So this is definitely a step out of my comfort zone. And I figured, you know, if you're not, if you're too comfortable, you'll never push yourself to do anything else. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do something that makes me uncomfortable and... I know that that's usually the most rewarding thing is just doing things that you're not ready to do. And yeah, we're going to push it to the limits. 2024 is already going off to a crazy start. And I thank you all for supporting me. And yeah, I'm so glad you guys are enjoying the video so far. I've only posted two and it was today. Today's the 8th. You guys will see this on the 9th probably. I've gone ahead and made the decision to just pack really super light. There's going to be plenty of opportunities to buy stuff while I'm there. So I'm going to go with just one hoodie and I'm actually going to probably put my other shirt back and just get a shirt while I'm there. Um, this is how I look right now. So all of this is all of my like shirts. Um, so all of my t-shirts, all of my underwear and socks are all on one side. And then I think I'm going to put this shirt away because I don't really need to have extra stuff but I brought a pair of jeans and I'm gonna throw stuff like the camera and all that in there and then should have plenty of space to put a lot more stuff I've pretty much gone through my entire checklist of things and it seems like I don't really need anything else so I think I'm just gonna leave it there um, yeah we're looking so good right now I think I'll leave it there for today uh, tomorrow I'm gonna start my journey and I am bringing my laptop so we should have Set my regular vlogs while I'm there. That'll be sweet. Um, probably not for at least a couple days just because one full day, 17 hours is travel time. But I'm so excited to take you guys with me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Anyways, um, that's just a quick update for you guys. Uh, I will see you guys in Japan. And uh, I'll catch you guys there. Peace.